Chad, how's Yay. it going? <laughs> it's weird to go from music to no music, but that is true. Yay. Hi, Chad, how's Yay. it going? I almost stole, stole it. It's Hi, weird Chad, to go from you? music to no music, but that is true. Wait, that's, that's a little bar. Oh, though. this is mine. I almost stole, stole it. Hi, Chad, how are you? Peepo, hey. Oh, that's a little large, I'll say. We gotta make you a little smaller. Peepo, hey. It's gone now. There you go. It's the first episode. <laughs> Give us a freaking break. <laughs> yeah. Hi, guys. Hello. Are you excited for today? Hello, cutie Cinderella. Happy two months. Thank Aww. you. Thank you. Thank Happy you two, the months two months to you. Sag, sorry. Well, hello, everybody. I'm here with Will. You guys know Will. You guys yes. know Will. You have to know Will. Hello, everyone. I Listen, here's what's going on. In a very proud Twitch tradition, Cutie and I today are gonna steal old cable content and repackage it for you, the Twitch viewer, so that you can interact with it in real time. In this specific instance, we didn't even change the name. <laughs> Dinner in a movie used to be a show where they would watch a movie and they would cook something for you, and it was great. I believe it was on TNT, I can't remember. But we're gonna make it better. This is the first episode, so we're gonna try some different formatting stuff. For this first episode, it's going to be very cooking intensive, but for future episodes, we are considering um, doing an intro and then having the duration of the cooking be simultaneously streamed with a Twitch watch party. So you can watch the movie while we cook, when the co cooking is done. We do a little mukbang type food review for you uh, because obviously Cutie's cooking is incredible. Today's episode, we're gonna work in tandem to make an amazing homage to Talladega Nights. Cutie is helping me make crepe Suzette for the first crepe time. Crepe Suzette. Right, or in the words of Talladega Nights, really thin pancakes. <laughs> So uh, this is going to kind of be a learning episode, a lean startup episode for us. We wanted to kind of see how the ebb of the, and flow of the show was going to be. But instead of doing it off camera, we decided that we would stream it for you, the good people of the internet. But with that being said, um, it is up to you to make this show a success. So tweet your feedback, tweet if you had a good time. Uh, absolutely subscribe and follow uh, Cutie Cinderella because she's an incredible content maker. Wow. And just know that today's episode is going to be a little fucking scuffed because this is the first time we're doing it. Yeah. And I've been having internet problems. But it should be fun. It should be really fun. Um, Will, what is your cooking experience? Uh, my <laughs> cooking experience uh -huh. is that my dad is probably the worst cook okay. on the planet. Perfect. Um, he, he is this really brilliant dude who thinks that he has to improve things by adding really unnecessary ingredients. Okay. Yeah, that's Ludwig. Yeah, so he would like like make tomato soup and he'd be like, listen, I wanted it extra creamy, so I added some ice cream to it. Like like wow. that's that's like okay. his so I learned to cook because my dad was so bad. So I'm self-taught. Okay. okay, that's I'm great. Self-taught. That's really great. Yeah. I am, I am mama taught, and we used to make thin pancakes, as we called them, because we're white suburban Americans. Yeah, really, really <laughs> thin pancakes. Uh, we would make thin pancakes literally like every Saturday morning. And we had these plates, me okay. and my siblings, where like, so my sister, um, Nicole, she would have her plate, and then my plate would be like pink. And so my mom would make the thin pancake, put it on her plate, she would go eat, and then my pink plate would be next. And so we'd rotate all my siblings and yes. we'd have competitions who could meet the most thin pancakes. And crepes, you can eat a lot of them. Like another mm -hmm. name for a crepe is a Swedish pancake and that's what we used to make. Oh we really? Said, yep, you guys were fancier. You're like Swedish pancakes. Right, Swedish pancakes. <laughs> and you basically just roll up as much meat as you can in it. And that oh. was the move, right? Ours was sugar and butter. Exactly, that's diabetes. the difference. That's yeah. because diabetes. Yeah, we but love diabetes. I've had a good crepe, Nutella, I feel like is something that is integral to a good crepe. How do we feel about this? I, I, this hot take, I don't like Nutella. I'm so sorry, you can This leave. is the <laughs> final episode of Dinner and a Movie. <laughs> I'm leave. fucking out of here. I think it's so, the reason I don't like Nutella is I, I'm one of those people that I, I kill my happiness with overindulgence. 
I loved Nutella at one point. I loved it, but then I ate so much of it that the side of it now I'm like. Okay, that's that's not Nutella's I know, fault. It's Nutella. That's Nutella. Right. You can't <laughs> bad mouth Nutella. Why would Nutella sell oh, like Costco cute. size? Like, there's no. Why would they do that? So that you can it's have it in your too, closet. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much for me. They can't do that. You cannot. That's no. I work. No, <laughs> no, this is an insane take. This is, you basically said Nutella is too good. Uh-huh. Why, what business do you have being so good? <laughs> there should be some government organization to limit how much Nutella I should eat. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, they destroyed the rainforest single-handedly. What? <laughs> so they, what's in Nutella, like palm oil or something like that? What? What? It's bad. Nutella is actually true. bad for the environment. When did? Since when? Since is since like yeah, palm oil. See, so really, if you like Nutella still, you hate the environment. Okay, you researched <laughs> this as a recourse because you knew your dislike of Nutella no, I, was insane. I worked in a bakery and uh, prices of Nutella shot up, and I was like, what the fuck? And it was because all of this, like, they were canceling Nutella because of the palm oil oh. and the rainforests. So. So, by the way, thank you guys for the hype train. You're supporting Cutie Cinderella and the amazing cooking content. You're so nice. I never thank them. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, if I'm sitting down, I'll thank them. But when I'm in the kitchen, they never get thanked. And they, they know that. They expect that. When me. I'm in a good position to thank, yeah. I will thank. It's like I literally have a command that my mods will thank them. See, it's like Cutie's in the middle of making content right now, but she thanks you. I appreciate it very much, but it's like... You know, I gotta make a YouTube video out of this. Okay. I can't cut out all my thank yous. I so. get so many subs. I'm so rich that I can't just cut out every 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Ludwig is rubbing off on you in a terrible way. Okay. Um, if there's no Nutella, walk yes. me through today uh-huh. what we are making. And if the people at home wanted to follow along, what ingredients would they need? Okay. Crepes are so simple, everybody. So the dish is called... Crepe Suzette. Crepe Suzette, so which French means dish. what in French? Um, Pancake I, Suzette. Is a, yeah, <laughs> what is I, a Suzette? What is a Suzette? I actually should have done the research on that. Let me see, chat. I don't think Suzette stands for anything. Is it a person's name? What? I think so. Does Crepe Suzette... Yeah, I don't... Suzette doesn't... Oh, there's my Instacart. <laughs> okay, the food is here. I'm going to grab that while you tell you me what You need an ID. You need an ID. I need an ID. But just... Maybe you can pass with me. That's, I wonder where Ludwig is. <laughs> so my Instacart was supposed to be here an hour ago, um, and then it didn't, so I sent Ludwig to the store, and um, Ludwig's not back, but now, my, but now my Instacart is back. Also, apologies in advance, I've been having serious internet issues. It looks like there's gonna be a few Fs every few minutes, I'm so, so, so apologetic. Um, I'm working on it, so I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm doing my best, okay? So Crepe Suzette is literally, Suzette doesn't mean anything, guys. Um, Suzette doesn't mean anything, does it? I don't think it is. A young French girl. Oh, it is named after a girl. How cute. We love Wait, that. Suzette? Yeah, so it's named after a girl. Okay. Is there booze in this? There is booze There's in this. There's booze. That's, he has to, I'm going to have uh, Will. Where, where does the salsa well, go? Well, I was just ordering groceries, so, okay. so we don't need all of this. I'm making enchiladas later. You can stay for dinner if you want. Okay, there we go. Oh, I only ordered three oranges, but they brought me four. That's literally it, then. Okay. Oh. I just realized you have a cute Hello Kitty keychain and I have a cute Psyduck keychain. They could be like friends. Or they could do that. Uh, or, or battle, I suppose. Okay. Okay. So this is called Susan's Pancake. <laughs> We're making Susan's so, pancake. Okay, it was created by a, a happy accident for the Prince of Wales. While working in the kitchens of the renowned restaurant, the prince loved a flambe crepe. So anyone who doesn't know what flambe is, it is taking alcohol, burning out the alcohol with fire. Um, what that does is it won't burn out the alcohol all the way. So if you are, you know, uh, straight edge, you technically should not eat it. 
Um, but it burns out enough that it just leaves you with the residual flavor of like rum or in this case cognac. The like the the aroma mm-hmm. of yep. the olfactory sense. Um so it looks like where'd it go? Oh. The prince loved the flambe crepe with the zesty sauce, encouraged the uh, to name the dish after one of his dining guests, a young French girl. Oh, he yes. was he, had dude, a he was trying to get laid. I he love was, that. He, I like how he took credit for his like his man's invention too. This this fucking amazing chef invents something new, and this prince is like, "Wow, this is so cool." Has Suzette? Oh, way too dank. This pancake is for you now. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I think that's very cute. I think it's very uh. I don't know if I'd want to be named after a pancake. There's or a lot, pancake to be there's named. There's a lot of like, Oh, he just got beat by the Instagram. Just in time. So just pretend we don't have it. Uh, hey, bud. Thank God you made it. No. Hi. We're so... Ugh. The lady at Best Buy was such a bitch. She wouldn't give it to me for free. I told her I was Ludwig. Milk? <laughs> Best Buy? <laughs> Sir, we don't have milk at the Best Buy. Bitch, give it to me for free. I'm Ludwig. That's what I told her. Lud, will you call the internet company today? Yeah. Drop us some frame? Yeah. Yeah, we drop us some frame. It's making Woo! me really sad. Oh, hell yeah. Love a little frame drop in the morning. Thank now you. we got Cavassier. We got Hennessy. <laughs> We and got we, 12 oranges. <laughs> drop frame over 35% in the last two minutes. Mm, it's really sad. That's a lot. Uh, you can just tell me I can just fix these things. I don't think you can fix you these things. Now, I did tell you. <laughs> do you think we will use both bottles? <laughs> <today>? No. <laughs> Are you sure? I am sure, unless you want to drink some. Well, then I'm I pretty think sure. I think as a, we can a drink chef, in the morning. and now I'm not correct. You should always test your ingredients. <laughs> That's what I've Each individual told. thing. I don't, so this is an interesting, um, liqueur, liqueur. He got, he did, he went with a mix here. We don't necessarily need, um, Cognac. orange liqueur. You can add orange liqueur, but I prefer fresh orange juice to orange liqueur. So, so we probably won't use the Grand Marnier, but, um, the Hennessy or the, what is this one? Cavassier. Cavassier. Also, for anyone underage, you can make this without the flambe. The flambe is honestly just so extra. Right. Yeah, I need to turn this back. I can't yeah. see chat, and it's, it's affecting me in, a, in an emotional way. There you go. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, I will be your sous chef, basically. Ooh. Which is also French. It means secondary chef. Like, I will yes. be aiding her hands. My Actually, second... under. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just tech guy. Tech guy here. Sorry. Sorry. You guys are doing really great. Get out! <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I love the show. Get out of the oh, kitchen! I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, just, just, I'm just passing water. <laughs> Fucking French people, man. <laughs> this guy. Everyone in chat, this motherfucker. <laughs> just get out, Lud. No, you, you're, you, can, you can hang out with us whenever you want, Ludwig. We need the views. So, yeah. anyway, okay. Crepe Suzette, named after a lovely French girl. Here, we're going to watch the clip together from Talladega Nights. Right. Ready? Yeah, it pulled up. Look at this. Boom. Production value. I will let you go, Ricky. We can't but hear it. But first, <laughs> I want you to say... I love crepes. Don't you say it, Ricky. These colors don't run. I'm not gonna say it. Good. Hey, look, Frenchie, I thought about it. So why don't you go ahead and break my arm? I do not want to break your arm, Monsieur Bobby, but I am a man of my word. Here's the deal. He's not gonna break it, because I'm gonna slip out of it right now. Who did he? Whoa, oh, get do down, you little funky. Someone might as well give me a beer while I'm down here. But you have forced me to do this. You are now mocking me and making me look ridiculous. Just say, I love crepes. You know, just to put this in there, yeah. I had a whole mess of crepes this morning. They're just like pancakes, maybe even better. Wait, are they the really thin pancakes? Yeah. Yes, they are. They are the really thin pancakes. It's just a French word for them. Oh, my God, I love those. What are the syrups you want on them and stuff? I'm just saying, think about it. They come with cheese sometimes? Like yes, cheese? of course, a fromage crepe. 
Well, why didn't someone yell at it right, right away? Do you know what's in the crepe Suzette? Oh, I love the crepe Suzette. With the sugar and yeah, the, the sugar lemon juice. Yeah, the lemon juice, sure. Come on, yeah. I, w I wish I could crawl into one of those right now. Oh, oh, right. There's no Thank way you. out from the inside. <laughs> oh, it's tasty. Oh, man, you know, either way this goes down, can we go get some after we're done? Absolutely, we're gonna do that. My back, my neck. Hi, chat. My back, lick my pussy and my... Okay, tech guy, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if that's the most appropriate. Okay, very lewd song. <laughs> Great movie. Okay. My neck. Do you remember the My first bad. time you saw Talladega Nights? I do. What was it? I saw it in theaters. Really? Actually. Yeah. So we were talking earlier, uh, Adam McKay, the director, very famously is also the director of Anchorman, which I think is like a bellwether uh, film and comedy. And uh, this is kind of a, another one of his projects that has a very similar spirit. Uh, and I think he is like considered the master of smart, dumb, Movies. Smart, dumb movies. Right, right. I remember, so my family is very, very Mormon. Yeah. Um, really? Is, yes, very, I very didn't Mormon. Know that. Yeah. So everyone in my family, besides me and one of my brothers, is Mormon. And one time we were at a big family reunion, so there's like 80 of us. We're at my grandma's house. And my brother was a big fan of Talladega Nights. And so they're like, hey, uh, like, Jordan, will you say the prayer? Mm -hmm. And so, and he's not Mormon, but sometimes we have to say the prayer, even though we're right. not Mormon. And so he folds his arm and he starts going on the rant about, how do you see Jesus, like as a baby or like? Yeah, you know? yeah. what's your Jesus look <laughs> yeah. like? My Jesus is hit there to party. He's wearing a tuxedo t-shirt, I love that. Yeah, and so, and my family was just like, just they were just like, what the hell is he? Like, this yeah. is so sacrilegious. And it was very funny because he was just like, oh God, it was so bad. But that is my biggest memory of Talladega Nights. And I feel like it was just always on TV. Talladega Nights and Anchorman are movies that are just always on streaming services yeah. and they kind of seem immortal in that sense that they are like, you know, iconic comedies. And then I think that format started to break down when you get into like the Blades of Glories, which is still like yeah. a fun movie, which but like funny. it felt like they kept trying Will to reiterate. Will Ferrell, man. Yeah. He can't do anything else, can he? Well, I think he they was- They don't let him. He was a little typecast because those movies were so successful. It's, it's all right. Oh, I need to put this in the, this is for later, okay. Our tech guy have us, has us set it up so that we are no longer dropping frames. I'm leaning we, into the mic we because are I'm so used to. We are still slightly dropping frames, but. I don't think you're dropping any. Yeah. Those, those alerts, oh. Old still. warning. Yeah. It's okay. It's money. It's the best we can do, so. <laughs> old warning. <laughs> old warning. Okay, Um. anyway. Sorry for the... Tech guy. We're great. We'll just cut it out. No one will know. Pretend it didn't happen. That's how movies work, Okay, right? so we only use one of these, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so chat. We're going to do our first poll. I need you to vote on what booze we're going to put in our crepe Suzette. Will it be the Hennessy? They're all going to choose Hennessy. Will it be the Cavassier or will it be the Grand Marnier? Uh, mods, are your mods active? My mods are great, yes. Okay, can we get a poll on which booze will be put in the crepe Suzette? And then maybe a fourth option where we use all three. All three? Yeah! Yeah, okay. A little hodgepodge. You can be a little crazy. Okay. I don't, feel, I don't feel bad about it. So we've talked about the film. We've, we've set about up the, the crepes. You're Jesus. gonna break my arm to set up to like set the movie, yeah. What, the, what? Yeah, he breaks his arm in that scene. Dude, I need to re you don't remember that he breaks no, his arm? Breaking his arm. Yeah, because he refuses to admit that he likes really thin pancakes. <laughs> so he breaks his arm. So he breaks his arm. Yeah. Damn. Um, but you like them. I, I do. Yeah, so there's no reason to... I don't need to break your arm. So we're set up. We've introduced. <laughs> what are our first steps here? Crepe Suzette. So yes. Crepe Suzette is different than crepes with Nutella. Okay. Uh, crepe Suzette, the Suzette itself is the citrusy flambe sauce. So, Susan. And the hot girl. We need yeah. to make some Susan. <laughs> hot girl Susan is yeah. what this is named after. So that's specifically the type of crepe we are making. So crepes are really, really easy. Um, I promise you. And they will always impress whoever you're making I call them. bullshit on them. Why? Because you have to be careful with them. Okay. Well, the first crepe is always like, it's always your test crepe. That one's going to be garbage. Anyway. Okay. So you have to go into it knowing that your very first crepe is garbage. Okay. But the batter itself is so simple. You guys probably already have everything you need. Water. Flour, egg, milk. 
<laughs> Susan. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> Water, because that's just uh, that's just what you need for the crepes. Great. Um, okay. A little bit of salt. We're gonna use uh, butter today too. Did I say butter? Butter. Yeah. I'm sorry, I must interrupt. Okay. Yes. It's crepe. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this guy. Crepe Suzette. All right. Oh, mon dieu! <laughs> Les deux! Sacre bleu, mon petit Sacre bleu! Sacre bleu. <laughs> this guy hired the French guy. C'est pas impossible! Tech guy, French tutor, this man does everything. <laughs> He's just screaming no at us in French right now. from another room. French tech oh, okay. guy. Okay. Well, okay. So, as we were saying, as you we only saying. need five simple ingredients. <laughs> Maybe seven. <laughs> maybe seven. Maybe eight. Where are all my clear bowls at? Okay. I am I'm having Will make the batter today. Okay. As a, as a under chef would. As sous a chef. as a sous chef would. So Will, I want you to start. I always say this, start yes. with your eggs. Because okay. the reason you start with your eggs is because it's easier to pick eggshells out of an empty bowl. There's than... gonna be no shells. Oh. And I feel like this is the first test of a man's acumen in the kitchen. Just one bang. Okay, Boom. now do it one one handed. One hand. Okay. He did it. That takes a lot of faith. It does take a lot of yeah, yeah. Oh, we should probably wash our hands. That's one thing I didn't talk about. Or you just like get we to know did, each other I better. I did pre-wash before. I feel like I pre-washed forever ago. I, I will wash again though, so that we don't get egg residue. Sick. I'll wash again too, just in case. My pans always look gross because I'm always painting and shit, so I just have like paint, like paint under my nails, and it just looks like I did crack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're ready. People that do crack also paint a lot. <laughs> you're ready towels. Uh, right over here. <laughs> no, you walk too far. Next to the kitchen. Oh. Guys. <laughs> and that's the last episode. <laughs> All right, we're off to a hell of a start. We got two eggs in a bowl, no shell, might two I eggs add. Two eggs in a bowl, no we, are, we are flying. <laughs> okay. I'm enough. I wasn't prepared to see this. Oh. They weren't prepared to see this. Well, it's crazy because I've been talking about it for a while. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I could have better prepared you, but... Um, let's give you a liquid measuring cup. Okay. Like I said, this is so, so simple. I, w I have a secret though. Do okay. you guys want a secret? We're not doing this today, so this is a bad example. If you want to have the most successful crepe experience, you make your crepe batter the day before hmm. and leave it in the fridge. And let it sit. Yeah, that reason being is there's only a cup of flour in that, so leaving it in the fridge lets the gluten develop longer, so they're less likely to rip um, without agitating it because usually when you mix a lot that's what causes your gluten to start you know combining with each other and creating oh. these locks but we don't want to agitate it because we don't want crepes to be tough which is why we prepared this batter <laughs> yesterday just kidding we did but well now we're, and qt now no that's a big hug that far ahead, so fuck them you know we're doing it that we're doing it the way of the people Will and cutie now this is a big pause thank you so much and thank you to everybody supporting it's very kind of you okay so we only need a half a cup of water in here. Easy. Just in with the eggs. Easy peasy. Okay, so there's a cup, so half a cup is right there. Oh, chat, hello? I'm so sorry. I have a hand cam for you. Don't worry, this is a professional kitchen. Ooh, I nailed it. Boom, half a cup, yes. Half a cup in. Hi. Okay, here we go. So whoop. And now we need this milk that's already out here, three-fourths cup of milk. Okay. Now I'm gonna get us a hand cam set up. Did you say three-fourths oh, cup? it's my chin. Three-fourths cup. Wait, I see two-thirds. Where's three-fourths? Oh, it's gotta be a little bit more. <laughs> it's gotta be right Jesus. there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. One second, we'll see how he did. Coming in for the expert opinion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is an interesting measuring cup, I'm just realizing. Okay, yeah. so every fourth, we're looking at a fourth here. Okay, so yeah, you thought I was an asshole. Wait, fourth, half, 
four, three fourths. Yeah, you're right there. He did it right. He did great. He did great. There's the milk. Throwing that right in the bowl. Okay, now we need to use a mixer. This is very important. You can use a blender or a food processor, but you do have to use a whisk in this situation. I'm okay. Trying to figure out where the best. Um, is there a, a plug? Yeah, I need an extension cable in here probably, I'm realizing. Wait, what did we unplug? The laptop, but it has this battery pack. Okay. So. I'm so I have to be, wait, that's the lowest setting? <laughs> this is gonna send milk everywhere. <laughs> well, you gotta be careful. How do I be careful when, look at this fucking thing. So you, I, I feel like I'm beyond Thunderdome. You don't go into it with it on. Okay. There you go. And then... <laughs> that is madness. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's the lowest setting. Let me show you a better way. To, if you're ever worried about it going over the bowl, just tilt it. Oh. That works better. <laughs> but that's also good. That's also great. You did great. <laughs> okay. We can move that right there. There we go. This, and then clean up your mess just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Very simple now. We're adding our flour. Okay. And we only need a cup, which I believe. So that's a cup right in there, right? That's yeah. a fourth a cup in there. So four of these. So four of those, yeah. Boom. And then I've been told with flour, you have to leave it and not pack it down. Yeah, don't pack it down, exactly, or you'll have too much. This is actually pretty easy. Um, I, I've heard that's actually an instinct for a lot of people who are just getting started is to pack it down and then yeah. they put way too much flour. Okay, perfect. Another thing with crepes that makes them different is you need to melt your butter. So with most baking, oh. you don't melt your butter. But we want this thin, right, chat? So we want it really thin pancake. It's really thin pancake. So I'm going to go ahead and melt three tablespoons of butter. And are we just doing that in the microwave? Yep. We could be fancy and do it over a... Candle? Candle. <laughs> or a stove top. <laughs> but it is interesting that you well, do it with a candle. How, it depends on how fancy you want to be. <laughs> yes. Like when you go to a steakhouse and they put it over like a lobster. Like your lobster butter. That is going. Okay, butter is melting. Now, do I hit this with another? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna get that Milk all combined. Cowboy. We don't want any lumps, so you mix for a pretty long time here. Tilt technique. Oh my God! The power, the power is so immense. Jesus Christ. Okay. Good job. Now we're just gonna hit the sides real quick. I can't believe that's the lowest setting. Hey, fifteen dollars on Amazon, man, gets you, gets you a pretty good mixture. <laughs> Jesus Lots Christ! Lots of variety in settings. I think it's just broken, if I'm being honest. But I got so used to it that it's like strapping yourself to the back of a hurricane. All right, here we go. Okay, we need some salt. You know, you have to put salt in any sweet you ever make. Here you go. No, that's coarse salt. We don't want that salt. Okay, so don't use coarse <laughs> salt. I just found that out. You just learned that. One second. One second. Well, okay, so what's the difference between coarse salt and not coarse so salt? So coarse salt has those big chunks. You know yeah. when you're at a fancy restaurant and there's like mm. the big chunks over? Yeah. Yeah, so we don't want to do that because then you're going to have big chunks. Because that's like salt. Yeah, exactly. Right. Now this, uh, you probably only want half a teaspoon, chat. Um, now what's the salt doing to my mouth? So Why what the I... salt is doing, it's yeah. compensating for the sweetness, ah. which we haven't added. Okay. Did we forget something? No, I just, this is my issue with my recipes is they're in my head. Okay. And so if you're making, the cool thing about crepe batter is you don't have to add sugar to it. So we could use this for eggs, we could use this for whatever, but we're right. making crepe Suzette. So I'm gonna add we like a tablespoon nice of sugar. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, tablespoon of sugar. And a half teaspoon of salt, because what that does is that even if I didn't add the sugar, 
we're putting sweet things sweet, on it. Savory. The salt is going to, yep, elevate that so it's not too rich and gross. And then there's our melted butter. Le beurre. And you're gonna mix one more time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah! It's so powerful. God. Oh, help me. You're doing great. Oh. Yeah. There's batter everywhere, even with the tilt it's method. Like it's, on the, it's on the microwave. It's... I feel like I take my life in my hands every time I use that mixer. <laughs> okay, we are going to take um, this. I'm just going to put it in the fridge, let it calm for a little bit while we, uh, we prep. We our have food. to get you a new mixer. That, that, is, that is fair. That thing is fucking absurd. If you're coming over every week, I don't want you to develop some Trauma yeah. You're like, time to mix again. <laughs> He's like, not this, not this. Ugh. Also, I have to say, I posted a baking video today, and somebody was in the comments backseat baking me, and nothing drives me more crazy than my cat eating cardboard. <laughs> that was not how you were going to end that statement, was got it? Got it, got it. He, he likes to make toys out of literally anything. Um... Hi, Ders. This is your sous chef, or chef de cuisine. Yeah. Um, you better step it up. I run a tight ship in this kitchen, okay? No more of your bullshit. You were late. <laughs> Smell this milk. Tell me if it's still good. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's pretty good. Um, but someone was saying, because I said you always have to put cookie dough in the fridge, and they were like, no, you actually don't, because the bacteria won't actually, like, it'll, all the bacteria will bake out in the oven and I'm like, bitch, that's not why I said to put it in the fridge. You have to put it in the fridge because you need the butter to evenly solid before you scoop it, otherwise you're gonna have cookies that are all different shapes. Mm -hmm. So fuck you, person. I just had to say that, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, I hate when people backseat, <laughs> like my cat right now, he's just really. Yeah, we are in the middle of a recipe. Durs, professionalism, he's we helpful. talked about he's this. Okay, oranges. So what we're gonna do, we want um, you should always use all the orange you can. So we're going to zest these. Oh. Yep. So not just. Uh, can, we, can we just use, use this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. We're not just going to. Um, and we can use the same bowl. I'm all about like saving dishes. So this is the bowl we melted the butter in. That's fine because we're going to have even more butter in a little bit. So we're going to zest this. Where's our zesting device? Somewhere. I do have one. Oh God. Pause champ. I'm gonna check right under Okay. Oh, Organized no. kitchen, by the way. Okay, in a pinch, you can zest your orange with a cheese grater. We're gonna use that side. Okay. Um, and it's not gonna fit in that bowl, so let's just give you a paper towel to put that on. No, that'll fit. Look. Oh, you got it? Oh, that. In a good way? Yeah. That looks, okay. It's not dangerous. <laughs> and I'm like rotating the orange as I do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could also just hold it like, um... <laughs> My God, that's zesty. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a little easier for you. If you go like this. And then it's just gonna drop okay. down into there. All right. And it'll make you, you know like what? a little, what? That's why I'm the sushi. <laughs> okay. We're learning. It's okay. Here, chat, here's your camera back. That smells so good. Amazing, right? That like, that's hitting better than a bed, bed, bath and body candle, you know yeah. what I mean? It's funny because crepe suzette is technically a dessert uh, crepe, but with the orange, it makes it feel like I'd eat that in the morning. I yeah. would. So after I zest all the skin off, do I just use a new one? Yep, so we're gonna zest two oranges. take this sticker off. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to zest the sticker. Though. Don't zest the sticker. I'm going to find my other zest. The, the, the sticker is not zesty. Yeah, we don't want that. This is absurd. Oh, well. The cool thing is, is all I can do is be more organized next time. So this is exciting for us. Chat, As I said, first episode. Chat, you cannot eat the sticker. 
You can. No. <laughs> they, they, they make them edible. They, really? For ding dongs, yeah. There's, you wanna come smell this orange? Please. There's, smell, smell the ingredients, there's. Cat Sam. There's is pissed. <laughs> Sears is mad. He realized he that Will makes board. more money than yeah. <laughs> him. He's like, I need a raise. Okay, give me the other I one. I don't even like this movie. That's fully zested, right? Yes. Chat, fully zested. So, Talladega Nights, they don't, they don't have a southern accent, do they? How do oh, they yeah. talk? They kind of have like a draw. It's like a twang. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Maybe we should have done the whole episode like that. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite moment in Talladega Nights is one of my favorite plant and payoff moments in a film ever. The whole movie, Ricky Bobby leaves tickets for his dad to come watch one of his NASCAR races, right? And it's like this sweet biopic, like sports moment, like one day my dad will come watch me race. Yeah. At the end, the dad picks up the tickets and immediately turns around and scalps them. Oh my God. It's <laughs> such a great my heart. plant and payoff. Ugh. So that's what you call that when they plant like... A- so plant and payoff is like the idea that like a moment is more satisfying in a film if it's like established, right? Okay, yeah. So if I just come out and I'm like at some point like in the film... You know, someone's like, what's Will doing? Oh, Will's an alcoholic. And it's like out of left field. It's like, what the fuck? But if like early in the movie, someone offers me a drink and I'm like, no, really, I can't. Yeah. That moment feels earned way more later in the movie. It's called plan payoff. Oh, that's and so interesting. There's a theory about plan and payoff called Chekhov's gun, where a lot of time filmmakers, if they set something up in a film, it has to reappear. So like... If you see a loaded gun in a movie, you know later on in that film, someone is going to use that gun. It's called Chekhov's gun. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. So those are Chekhov's NASCAR I feel like you're like, NASCAR it's, like it's almost like a spoiler thing. Uh, kind of. So then I know, it's, I know it's coming. All right, we have a lovely bowl of tons of orange zest right here. We love that. Peepo G Planned Parenthood? No, guys, that's... What? That's not... At all related. <laughs> you guys oh! <laughs> are absurd. Wait, plan payoff? Yeah. Planned parenthood? Planned parenthood. I guess. They're good learners way. here. They are good learners. Okay. Well, we have the hard part out of the way, and that was zesting. Honestly, the zesting is the hard part. That's how easy this recipe is. Well, and the fire, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to set these aside. We're going to set our orange zest aside. And now we're done with our mixer. I'm going to plug my laptop back in. Okay. Garbage is over here. <laughs> just like walking the around. This boy wants us. Okay. Do, 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 do. do you think Jake and Bake got his name from Talladega Nights? That is interesting. You know, possibly, but Shake and Bake Chicken did exist before Talladega Nights. Was Shake and Bake sponsored? In any way? Did they sponsor the film? I don't know. It feels it's, like a miss. If it's, it's, <laughs> it's interesting because I know, I think Wonder Bread paid to be the main sponsor of his car. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then they just talk about Shake and Bake the whole time. Right. And I know that the Cougar car, the me car that he drives, actually drove in some NASCAR races. Really? Believe, yeah. That is so interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat, is anyone, is this anybody in chat's favorite movie? Pause, champ. Pausing. You do have a bit of a leg. Yeah. Yep, oh, you're lying. No. <laughs> no. Shake, shake and bake is a way of making meth, says someone. That is true. Shake and bake meth is meth that you make in a two liter bottle. Wow. Yeah. I next next week we'll do Breaking Bad and, <laughs> and we will be, we'll be meth. shake and bake. <laughs> It'll be very cool. Yeah. I'm excited for the meth episode personally. Yeah. Okay. Okay, chat. We are going to be using this instead of the stove top, which I will. Let's try fry this again. in. Well, it, plug, oh, does it? Okay, we freaked out yours. We can do this to get it as close as possible. Well, look, I got, I got. Oh, we just moved the camera. Yeah. That's way smarter. Camera's on wheels. 
Okay. So now we are entering the, the crepification process. The crepification process. Right. And you've said your first crepe is always dog shit. It's always dog shit. Okay. Yeah. So chat, if you're at home, you know, cooking along with us, your first crepe is going to suck. It's going to suck. And if you don't, if you want this recipe and you haven't been taking notes, join my Discord and I will post it there later. Um, and I do have to say this will be back and forth. Like next next time we do this, it'll be on Will's stream yes. and then it'll go my stream. So it'll go every other. So same thing, I will join Will's Discord and post it in his Discord after we do these so you can have the recipes as well. Right. And maybe in the future I'll even post, um, post them prior so then they can make it with us if they want. There you go. So. It's all just a work in progress. There we go. Okay. Pans. Let's see a perfect crepe pan. I okay, like, so what makes a perfect crepe pan? You know, some people usually like big ones. I used to, in the bakery, um, when we'd cater for weddings, this is what we'd use. Okay. So it totally depends. Um, crepe Suzette, I'm just going to do a mini version, but I want you to do the big version. So I guess we have to switch sides. So you have to go on this side with the big one. Wait, so um, what? Huh? You have the big version. So am I turning these heat elements on? Yeah, let's turn those on. On what nu numerical value? Medium, high, so let's go like four. Okay. So chat, you're getting, What's up? you're getting medium high heat. And these take a little longer to warm up, but um, yeah, that'll be great. Hello, why are you being staticky on me? Okay. There we go. There's our crepe vision. Yay, crepe vision. So. Oh my God! I know. You're I'm so sorry. bold. <laughs> Stop doing yeah, that. My, <laughs> I worked in the bakery so long, my hands lose like they they're they're burn resistant at this point. I really. <laughs> Mother of dragons. I know. Dude. I know. Daenerys it. Targaryen just putting her fucking Don't do hands that. on I'm them. sorry, chat. I'm a bad example. Yeah. So, do not do that. When I worked in the bakery, my our our head pastry chef at the time wanted us to save time so we wouldn't use oven mitts because then if you go fast enough, it doesn't burn you taking stuff out of the oven. That is not I true. Know. No, it's true. That <laughs> is not true. Well, well you, you get used to it to the point that it doesn't burn you anymore because your hands are so calloused. Um, but yeah, the first week was awful. <laughs> Mother of I know. God! I know, so my hands are just like perma pretty like, this one's a little slower, so this guy's getting there. But yeah, it's a little, it's a little weird. <laughs> Don't, no one, that's we so, should have sued her. Yeah, that's she, so intense. She clearly didn't, uh, she clearly didn't last very long. Was she French? No, she was Spanish. Oh. Uh, very strict. Mm -hmm. And scary, but. Yeah, I think you have to be when you. Yeah, I always just do this. I like hover, but you were like. Ugh. Yeah, I like to know. Ah! So I, I can feel it. If it's not warm enough, then I'll go like that. That guy's getting there. Okay, so there's a, okay, news, news flash, everybody. There's a lot of butter that we're gonna use. And sometimes mm. butter offends some people. No, that reminds me of my favorite chef, Ina Gardner, the Barefoot yeah, 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 Contessa. Yeah, 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 Barefoot Contessa. Barefoot I Contessa thought, I thought you were going to say Paula Abdul. No. I was like, oh no. Or, Barefoot but, Contessa, I actually Paula have Paula like, Dean, not Paula Abdul. I actually have like a crush on Barefoot Contessa. You do? I do. That is so funny. Just her whole demeanor of like, hi, welcome. Ooh, did I throw some butter in there? I guess She's I did. She's like, I, my grandkids are coming over later. Yeah. They're going to love these cookies. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's got it all going on. She does mint on everything. I, I, remember, I remember watching her a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, but we are going to use a lot of butter. So we're using a lot of butter. Lot now, of butter. if you were someone who doesn't like butter, what alternatives could you use? Uh, margarine, okay. which is uh, saturated fat. oils, essentially. Yeah, yeah fat oils. Um, you could use vegetable oil. You could use coconut oil, if you're, but it will add coconut flavor. Mm. Um, same with uh, olive oil. We'll just olive oil is really good with citrus because citrus lightens it, lightens it up. But you could you could do that. So. There you go, vegans. You can use lard, you can use these things. It's just butter. Butter's the best way to go, guys. Butter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to pull our batter out of the fridge. This is okay. just the first step. The first step is making our crepes, boys and girls. And remember, she said if you really want to nail this, let your batter sit overnight. Yeah. It'll make your life much easier, but we said, fuck it, we don't want easy lives. That's right. Um, your best tool for making crepes, oh look, you can use the mini, or <laughs> you can 
you, you can use the Mickey one. I'll use the Mickey one. Um, this is your best friend. So a spatula is your best friend for making crepes. Some people think like the hard plastic ones, this makes your life way easier. Okay. Um, you also need a plate prepared to put them on. Okay. So once they're ready, they're ready. Oh, we need to switch sides. I keep forgetting. I feel like this is going to be the hard one right here. This is pretty hard, but remember your first one is always- Your dog shit one. Your dog shit one. So I'm going to take my butter. Oh, just, just, just be so real. So I leave it like this. So Just get, be real fucking Yeah, get level. them all coated. Mm. Lovey dovey with it. Yeah. Okay, then you need a vessel for pouring. So I'm just gonna, this is messy. All right, this is the vessel. This is our vessel. I'm gonna get us some paper towels in advance. And I'll just hit it with some more butter. It's gonna drip, yeah. Nothing's wrong with a little extra butter. Okay, so with making crepes is all in the wrist. I actually don't like this batter. I might add a little more flour to it. Look at we'll her, see. flick at her wrist. We'll see as look soon as I go. Look at her wrist. So, yeah, that seems a little thin. Yeah, I might add a little more flour to this That's, board. That seems too thin. Too thin for us. Okay, You're, you got like a, like a wrist flick motion. Yeah, so that's what you go through because what happens is it gets thin enough that it starts cooking. Um, but I am going to add a chunk of more flour to this. Probably about a fourth. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit this with a flick of the wrist. I feel like our heating unit isn't hot enough either. Yeah, it isn't all the way there. So let's turn this all the way up. Okay, so consistent with what you said, our first crepe sucks. Yeah, that's okay. how I figured out. So you can always add more flour or more milk to this. <laughs> so we're right, on, we're right on pace right now. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like I said, I used to make thousands of crepes at weddings and uh, Always the first. You have a problem with it. You have to fix the consistency. You have to. Okay, what's happening here? Do I? It's okay. no. It's still cooking. So that guy's just kind of bad. Mm, it smells like just hot butter, which yeah. I like. Yeah, we do love that. Has anyone ever made a lobster crepe? Yeah, absolutely. That sounds good as hell. You do like lobster, mm. a little bit of lemon, oh. and parsley. You could even oh. do a beurre blanc <laughs> sauce with it. What's beurre blanc? So beurre blanc is a white butter sauce. Um, that you make with cream and butter, and you could add some lemon to it. So you could do a lemon beurre blanc sauce, and that'd be really, really good. Okay, so this, should we abandon? Yeah, Shall we're probably just gonna scrape that guy out. Okay. I'm gonna do. So I added about a fourth cup extra flour here, um, and that can just happen. Um, you just want a good, you want a runny consistency, but not like water. So you still want it to be a little more opaque. Ours was a little translucent. But even then you can cook it and see if it's working or not. Okay, your butter's starting to brown. Uh, so that's fine. That's just gonna add a nutty flavor, but we're gonna try doing it. Yeah, let's make it nutty. Okay. You go. Now you and now look at the flick of the wrist. Oh, there look. he goes. Oh, she's doing it. She's craping. She's craping. Okay, so we didn't give you enough batter, but that's fine. Cause it's the first one. Okay. All right. She's doing it. So looks what, what you can see is see how it's still raw there. Yeah. So you're not going to flip until you see all that whiteness go away. Okay. And it's just going to be that light yellow color instead of any white. That's what you're looking for chat. Let's just repair. Repair. <laughs> repair. Nope. And the, you'll see your, your edges will get golden first, which is a good sign. It smells like a crepe. Yeah, we're doing it. This batter is, uh, looks to be a very good consistency. Okay. So I'm gonna try. This pan Hello, is gonna guys. not be hot enough. Which happens, this is much harder to do on, um, what are these guys called? Uh, portable heating units. Uh, <laughs> uh, burners. Uh, hot plates. Hot plates, yes. Much harder to do on hot plates than on a stove top because okay. hot plates you can't control as much. Are you going for the flip? I mean, should I? Yeah, why not? Is it ready? It's the first one anyway. What? Okay. Sip! Sip! <laughs> the biggest baby of a flip I've ever seen, but still pretty good. Still pretty good. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> yes. My flip was decent. Well, it was, it was, it was, it was decent. Okay. I'm gonna let mine All right, dude. More wrist action. More, more vigor. All right. Now, this okay. one's our first one. It sucks. Are we gonna It's like, actually not bad. Are we gonna taste test it? Yeah. All right, is it done? No, I'd give it a few more seconds. 
You let that kind of sizzle for a little bit. Mm. This is a pretty good consistency back here. Ah! <laughs> He's so nervous. I promise I will never burn myself. My hands are like, literally, yes, dragon lady. So I, wicked. So see this right here, chat, yeah. this golden. So you kind of want a little more of that, but it's pretty good. And it's probably done now. So you're good to flip it onto this plate. And you just so now I give it another flip. Yeah, or just slide it off, whatever works. Yeah, that's perfect. So right here, guys, oh. see that? Oh, that's good. So the only the only ugly part about this is, is just the that. shape. And yeah, you have one fold, but fuck it because something about crepe Suzette is you're gonna fold it into quarters anyway. All right, I'm gonna give this a taste test. Mmm, is it so good? It's crepey. Is it buttery? It's crepey. It is crepey. It's great. It's just a per it's a perfect crepe. It's a good starting space. Mmm. All right. Oh. Wow. Yeah, crepes, all crepes are, they're like chips. They're just vessels. They're vessels for... For whatever else you want to do. Whatever else you want to do with it, yeah. All right, so I buttered this guy up. I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna push it to the limit. So we didn't have enough juice last time, right? Yeah. So was that enough, do you That's think? That's good, yeah, I think so. True Jordy coming home flag, True Boom. Jordy. It's coming home, True it Jordy up, coming so you home flag. You don't want a pancake, yep. you need a thing. I got you. It needs to be thin. She's got to be thin. Oh, that's looking like that's a crepe right that's there. That's pretty good. See? Mine is not so happy. This is what happens when your pan isn't hot enough. Your butter starts absorbing into your batter instead of keeping your um, separation. That's okay. Oh my God. Um, you love it? It's like old Swedish pancakes. Like, if you put a sausage in here, God. Yeah, so my pan is not hot enough, which is why I don't have any golden. So we're just gonna, yeah, fuck my pan. <laughs> it's fine. Ah, so I ate the test crepe, which is a good sign. <laughs> so the test one is done, and it's great, and it was perfect. But this is the one, and you tell me when it's. It time. is. I okay. Do you want real feedback? It is a little thick, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm it's a okay. Thick boy. You. <laughs> your, your wrist movement could have been a little faster, but that's okay. Okay, all right. It's okay. Dude. It's all, all right. right. I'm, here, I'm okay, here to help. Dude. I'm here to help. Um, you can flip that whenever, I think. You're looking pretty good. Okay, here he goes. Here he goes. That yeah! is much better. <laughs> that is exactly what you want. Woo! That is very good. There you go. You've accomplished my, my, my pan actually sucks. Hyper Omega Poggers Crazy. <laughs> they love it. Yes. Two months. Guys, and then once it's on this side, you only have to give it like maybe 30 seconds tops okay. for those little brown okay. marks. Those little, almost like liver spots. You want your crepe to have a liver spots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> appetizing. You want your crepe to look like its liver is failing a yeah. little bit. Okay. Good? Yeah. I think so. Oh, shit. I kind of missed a little bit. That's cool. All right. Yeah, you're good. Okay, I want you in here. I want to see. All right. I want to see the expert at work. Okay, look at that butter work. Butter work, butter work. Okay, slightly less batter no, than I me. No, I needed more. Okay. But you just have to start as you pour. Oh my! Look at the wrist action. Now that's a really thin pancake. There you go. It's a little more thin, yeah. um, but it's fine. You, I mean, it can be thick. I'm just. No, no, don't give me it's your fine. pity compliments. See, this guy sucks. This pan. <laughs> this guy sucks. This guy sucks. Fuck this you. Fuck that guy. <sighs> People G, your honor, she's correct. You're cute. Thank you very much, chat. Okay. All right, so you go through, make sure your sides are not sticking. Yes. They are not sticking. This is a really great pan. It's okay. heating up. It's not ready for us. The science is there. This poor baby over here is... Yeah, I feel like we're making this one over like a very weak flame. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Sometimes that happens on these stove uh, burners, top, countertop, where they are. Hot uh, plate. Hot plate, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That word is evading me at all costs. We might even need, we don't need more batter, fuck it. It's just the two, if we make too many crepes. We're just gonna make, the two yeah, of us. Yeah, we're gonna have like. 
We can make, we could probably get one more good one. Oh, oh. we want at least four. Oh, why is that? It's not good. Um, cause it's, 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 just standard. it's how you make crepes. Just that, standard. Yeah, it's just standard. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna kill this guy. This guy's yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, small fuck guy. this pan. You retire yeah. him. Uh, just the two of us. We can make it if we try. I get really impatient. So usually if you're cooking these on high heat, this takes you like, not even like two seconds. seconds. Yeah, if you're just, and then yeah. you flip, so. My biggest problem is not being patient enough. Okay. Okay, I'm looking pretty good. No, I'm not. Oh no. What is happening? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! I can't believe this has happened. Throw it away! <laughs> it's over, chat! No, I'm cooking on evenly because I keep touching it so much. Yeah, you're. There's an antsy bitch over here. You're Leave a little impatient. The hot plate is defeating you right now. I would like to see uh, Ricky Bobby make crepe Suzette. Oh, he would. He'd be too fast. <laughs> you're just cooking on the engine of his car. If you're not first, you're last. There you go. Right, chat? Sag. Okay. Thank you for the new sub. Flip. Okay, there she is. Oh! That was like was X Games one. mode. I don't know. It like, it like, in, like you caught it. <laughs> Usually with the smaller pans, you can get more of a, this is a heavy ass pan. I understand why your first flip was a little sad. Oh, well, hey, well, hey but now. your second your second flip was awesome. <laughs> your second flip was awesome. Well, hey, because I didn't. It's very heavy pan. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay, we got the liver spots. All right, you're back in. I'm back in. Yeah. Oh, shit. We only need. And now I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this motherfucker so, so thin. thin. Boom. And then look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. Get thin, motherfucker! Oh shit! What is? <laughs> what the fuck is that? The tumor in the corner. It's okay though. It's okay though. No, we have to surgery. <laughs> we're, we're removing the cellulite. Gal. It's okay. It's okay. My crepe is ugly. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point of my crepe is ugly? You had some fun facts about uh, this movie. Oh, you told me this one with the, the sword. Oh, yeah. So one of my favorite scenes in the movie, obviously Adam McKay loves uh, dark physical humor. Uh, it's like present in his, a lot of his movies. Obviously in Talladega Nights, you have like some pretty vicious car crashes. You have a man get his arm shattered. In Anchorman, people just casually die. And yeah. it's like just part of it. But uh, one of the best scenes in Talladega Nights is when Ricky Bobby is trying to prove that he has no feeling in his legs, and so he stabs himself. And that is an homage to a scene from a movie called Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, in which Steve Martin is pretending to have no feeling in his legs, and a doctor, a fake doctor, is trying to get him to have feeling in his legs again, so he's just beating the shit out of his legs with a bamboo Jesus. Lead. And it's, it's a great homage. If you've never seen Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, it is hilarious. Maybe we can even watch the clip at some point, both clips. And you yeah, I think go, that's oh. very fun. I love that. Maybe while you are creping next, I'll pull it you up. You can pull it up. Yeah. I can start searching. Yeah, type in uh, Talladega Nights. Uh, don't stick that in your leg. <laughs> Oh, it would be fun if we did uh, bloopers each time too, because those are things that like aren't in the movie. We can always yeah. watch the blooper scene. Well, on, bonus content. On these things, yeah. Um, Just type in leg, and I bet it comes up. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and then we have to find the. And then dirty rotten scoundrels. Uh, I would type in wheelchair. Oh, I think that's, I think the first clip is, yeah, Wait, go down, the, the, the whip scene, yeah. Okay. 
Me... So I would show the one from Talladega like, first. And then do that? Okay. And then you could be like, and and this is the scene that this is homaging. What are, you... what are you doing? What, we got an ad chat? Okay, here comes the flip. Here he goes. Shit! Nope, that was me. Shit! Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it's better looking than I thought. It looks great. It looks really good. It's got a little Look constellation at on that side. That's caramelization. Yeah. That's what we call that. Okay. Chat, I'm adding a window. I'm, I don't know what Ludwig is freaking out about in there. He's going crazy. He is going crazy. Echo crazy. Okay, we're going to add this. Just the two of us. And then we're going to add. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Another yeah. one. That is. Oh, you got it going. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Wow, yours turned out so beautiful. Hey, yours turned out so beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, that was... Oh, my hands aren't trained like okay. yours. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Last one. You got it? Oh, I got it. Okay. He's got it. He's a professional now. Chat, we're going to watch this clip, and then we'll watch the other one, okay? Extra butter. And then batter, a little extra batter, and then get crazy. Let's talk cash app. Okay. Want to custom design your own masterpiece of a day? Sorry about the commercials, chat. This is the best we have. This comes with every swipe with a new set every Did it. Perfect. I just want to say thanks, Doc. Taking care of our boy here. Oh, shit. Doc, give it to me straight. Is he ever going to be able to walk again? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought someone had told you. He's fine. He found that wheelchair in the hallway. His paralysis is entirely psychosomatic. We all need to go along with this. He's literally <laughs> kicking with his legs. So when you say psychosomatic, you mean like he could start a fire with his thoughts? No, not at all. It means it's all in his mind. I'm just saying, sometimes you get a knock Pyrokinesis. on the head. Pyrokinesis. I love that. All the time. Read a comic book, okay? Everyone's real friendly. I mean, it doesn't hurt being Ricky Bobby. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> so doesn't hurt being anymore. Ricky Bobby. Oh, I gave that up. Yeah, I gave that up after maybe the first day. Within the first hour, I gave that up. I'm through lying to myself, you know? It's time to be mature about this and just face facts. I bought myself a $100,000 uh, handicap accessible van with the captain's chairs and the DVD plasma screens in the back for the You kids. all paid up on that? Oh yeah, that's all paid in full. It's parked out there. And then the next thing I gotta do is I just gotta have a sit down with Carly and just let her know. It's okay. Her seat that comes from. Oh, baby. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Baby! That's really good. Wild. You're pro now. You're gonna going make these like every that. Sunday for brunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can do one more. I think we yeah, might as well. No, I don't care what the doctor said. We gotta tell him now. Ricky, the doctor told us that we should let you work it out in your own sweet time, but. Ricky, you can walk. What'd you just say? <laughs> He's telling you the truth, man. <laughs> What'd you just it's say? It's all in your head. No. You sick sons of bitches. <laughs> I mean, you walk in that door on your two legs all fat and cocky and looking at me in my chair and you tell me it's all in my head? I hope that both of you have sons, <laughs> handsome, beautiful, articulate sons who are talented and star athletes and and they have their legs taken away. I mean, I pray you know that pain and that hurt. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I love you that line. That us. You are not paralyzed. I am so paralyzed. <laughs> no, no, no. Rough on him now. No, he needs to know. Okay. He's always crying. Tough love He's, He's always tough crying. Love. Up, idiot. You want to know what I am? You want to see what my life is? <laughs> uh -oh. no, don't do it. Do you want to see what's going on here? Don't you stick that knife in your leg. You all see what my life is. Oh, 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 oh,
got it, you got it. I don't want it to show too much blood just in case, but very funny. Right. Um, you know, this is a great example of just absurd kind of like gallows humor. Uh, and then, so this is the film that I, I it, it basically is an homage to. Different setup if you've never seen Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Basically, Steve Martin is trying to convince people that he can't walk as part of a scam. And his uh, mentor who taught him how to scam people comes in as a fake doctor who has an expert treatment that will help him walk again uh, by basically just smashing the shit out of his legs. So this is another great comedy. If you've never seen it, I highly, highly recommend it. And we'll watch this homage scene while we create our last two clip. Clip. Pepe Smoke. I'm getting better on the the circle. Oh boy, you can really get lost. The quality is only 360. That's okay. I have a wonderful surprise for you. <laughs> Cover your eyes. You are not. Go on. This is so good. It's one of my favorite. Now, who is the one person in this world outside of your grandmother? you would like most to see right at this moment. I give up. Who? <laughs> Dr. Emil Schaufhausen. So this is the scam doctor? Yeah, they're, okay. both, they're both scammers. And he knows like he's here to fuck them up. But they can't reveal to this mm. woman that they're scamming him. I see. He can't believe it's really you. Yes, I think that's it. <laughs> I am here. Great. Uh, now, let's have a look at those lips, shall we? So, you are numb from the waist down. Yeah! See your pro now. Yes, Absolute sir. pro. Completely no feeling. Whatsoever. They're not the prettiest. That's but fine. They'll do. They're beautiful. Feeling Mr. Piggy dead, will you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the way they set this up. Tell me if you feel this. Tiggly, tiggly, tiggly. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We must try something. Something a little more stringent. <laughs> All right, and we'll do our last. We'll use the rest of our batter here. Little baby one. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Tell me. Do you feel this? How about... <laughs> Steve Martin does such a good job of selling this. Watch yourself, Janet. She looks so uncomfortable. How about this? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> this little fucking gallop he takes right now. Casey, 
intrigues me, Janet. I will take Officer Benson as a patient. Did you hear that, Freddy? <laughs> <laughs> I am renting a villa in this area. We will move him in, and I will really go to work on him. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Do you really think you can get him to walk again? Oh, I will have him running, jumping, shouting, screaming. Oh, my name isn't Doctor Emil Shackleton. Oh. It's a <laughs> Dude, he's so happy he's crying <laughs> <laughs> all right that's 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 funny story. but uh so i think it's uh, the reason i wanted to show this is like this is something i talk about in my oh, uh, yeah. oh she's beautiful she's beautiful this is that's something perfect. i talk about in my film class a lot is like when you pay homage to something it doesn't mean you're stealing right yeah Great film teachers will tell you that movies make movies. And so a lot of like inspiration for modern film comes from watching movies. So that's why this like a class like this is so fun because we get to learn how to make, uh, you know, a crepe Suisette. We take a critical look at a film, which if there are any uh, filmmakers or artists out there, let that inspire you, right? Like David Bowie said inspiration is basically watching a hundred pieces of art and taking little bits from them and plagiarism is watching one piece of art and copying it completely. So uh, always take inspiration from from whatever as an artist uh, you watch around you and you can see with that little kind of example like how one comic bit plays into the other but it's not exactly the same delivery. Which is why we stole Dinner in the Movie from TBS. Right, directly, and, directly. And Binging with Babish. That's what yeah, we did. Yeah. Yep, yep. But we're live and we're different and... Uh, we're, we're funnier. Yes. I'll say it. So. <laughs> and also there's this dinner in a movie. Yeah. Dinner, ours is dinner. And a, movie. and a movie. And Binging with Babish is, he's just cool. Yeah. He's, he's really big. cooler than us. Yeah. <laughs> we're the nerdy fun version of Binging with Babish. And we're live. He's not live. Well, he does go live. Whatever. So you and can All twist. Right. We're doing great. We okay. We have our crepe. Yay. We have our crepe. So now the next part is to make our Suzette. So what we're gonna do, Susan. Susan's here is even more butter. Okay. So I have to go get our lighter because um, we're gonna need that in a little bit. Oh, chat! What did you end up voting on the alcohol? Oh yeah, chat! What was the alcohol that we chose? Was it Hennessy? Was it Cavassier? Or was it Grand Marnier? All three? The grand one. All right, Grand Marnier one. Okay. We don't need it just yet, but we will in a little bit. So, what we're going to do is take three tablespoons of butter, which I know is excessive, but we're making a mm. sauce here. So, sometimes when people freak out at me, uh, at me about what butter I turn usage, the burner? Uh, turn it on to four. Yeah, it runs a little... That one runs hot and the other one runs cold. Um, so you have to think, we're using three tablespoons of butter in a dessert. Okay, this is a dessert sauce. We're using three tablespoons of butter. If you put ranch on a salad, you're that's, eating, you're eating butter. three tablespoons of butter. Yeah. yeah. So it's not that bad in the grand scheme of things considering that it is a dessert. I saw something yesterday that a, a McDonald's salad has as many calories as three McDonald's burgers. Yeah, I've, I've heard that as well. That's... Insane. Or like their salad has like the same amount of calories as like six Krispy Kremes or something like that. Like wow, that's... It's absurd. That's degeneracy. Or something like that. I think I'm totally off, but it's one All right. of those things. This okay. butter is buttering buttery. So. Yeah, so it's going to get very melty. That's what we're going for here. So what we're making, we're kind of making like a caramel. We're making like an orange caramel. Oh. Um, so what we do is we're going to add like two tablespoons of butter, maybe like... Or of sugar, sorry. Okay. Mix that in there. Am I juicing this? Yeah. And then we're gonna add half of our orange zest. Okay. And you're also gonna start, so this kind of candies your orange zest. Oh my God. It smells amazing. The olfactory pleasure that I'm experiencing right now is deep and profound. And then the ze the juice of one orange, so. Juice it. We don't want any seeds. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> 
You can also do this, you can do this with lemon, you can do this with grapefruit, you can do this with any citrus if you, if you would like. Susan is a flexible girl. Any yeah. citrus fruit at all. You know what, let's change it. If you use lemon, it is now the crepe uh, cutie. Ah. If you use grapefruit, it is the crepe wilna. Okay. So <laughs> you have your options here. The reason I'm doing it over my hand chat is to make sure no seeds go in, but this looks like pretty good seed wise. Just really milking that bad boy. All right, other side. And what this is gonna start doing is, um, citrus fruit has natural pectin in it. So what pectin is, is it's um, kind of like a cornstarch or something that creates a goo, if that makes sense. So as this oh. cooks, yeah, this, kind of this, like jam. This dish needs some goo. Well, like jam, you know, like a, a goo. So as this cooks, it's going to start like... I have like... never heard a less appetizing <laughs> term than goo. Okay. This dish needs some goo. It creates like a jam. I don't... That's better. Yeah. There you go. It creates like a jam, uh, the natural pectin as it cooks, because the, the liquid starts evaporating and then it's going to start binding with each other, as well as the sugar obviously creates a caramel. But for crepe Suzette, what you do now is you take a crepe. What? And we're going to dip... What? And dip and quarter, and it's just gonna soak in here, and it's gonna start to caramelize. Whoa! So when I dip, you thing. dip. We dip. Dip, dip. 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 Your hands. There's a safer way to do this. Your <laughs> hands. You could do this with a fork. <laughs> she literally is a meta human. I just, this is. I, I believe me. Sometimes Ludwig will be afraid to take something out of the oven, and so I'll be like, I'll just do it. This is sizzling hot I'm sugar. Sorry. Do not do, do not this do, at You home. can do it with a knife or forks. You can do it with two forks or tongs. Sorry, Jay. It is so intimidating to me. <laughs> I'm a bad example it's making, sometimes. It's making my penis shrivel a little bit. <laughs> I'm very so intimidated. So we're just going to... Ooh. And then... That is... I'm sorry. That is insane. Use a spatula. Use a spatula. Use a spatula, chat. I'm sorry. That is insane. Holy shit. But you're just going to mix it and like... Make sure it's all like you yeah. can just keep like you know moving it around in that juice. You can shuffle the the yeah, pan yeah. a little bit. Shuffle it in the juice. Yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. We're juicing. We're Speaking juicing. of juicing, chat, you can juice Cutie Cinderella by using your Twitch Prime subs if you want. You so, could also go to Will's channel. Do no, it. do it do here. Cook. Support new content. Vote with your wallets if you're enjoying this new segment today. Let Cutie know by supporting her with a Twitch Prime or. If you're low on Twitch Primes or cash, just go on Twitter and let us know that you enjoyed the segment. Truly. Yes, Twitter really helps. And tell your mom to watch us. We we want a bigger mom audience. That's, that's We've been right. asking for this. So your mom probably remembers TBS. Yep. So, you know. All right. That is soaking we, up. We want more moms in our audience so Seer can bang them. <laughs> Honestly, moms are rich too. That's true. So we just need more rich people in general. Okay, so it's it's like nearly soaked up, and we're just gonna leave it a little longer. That looks really, and it's that amazing. So yeah, good. it smells like a fucking citrus like orchard. It smells really really great with some sugar, of course. But um, okay, I'm gonna get us a plate. It's so caramelizing. Thank you so much for the hype train chat. You fucking rule. Thank you. Appreciate that. Also, if you have a movie that you want us to do next week, yes, put us add us on Twitter. Yes, add us on Twitter. We will look at those and try and gravitate towards films on Amazon Prime. Yes. So because we we're... we could do like Sonic and make Olive Garden. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it could be very funny. Wait, like, that is. I know in... Sonic's on Amazon Prime. That is incredible. That well, he fun. also eats chili dogs. Oh, yeah. We could that's do that. like his number. Well, that's in my wheelhouse. I'll teach, okay. you how, I'll teach you how to make. We'll teach the Will Neff. Uh, Will will teach me how to make a chili dog. That'll be fun. Yeah, that's like because that's beneath you. That is like, slightly beneath me. We well, can, it depends on the chili. We can make knockoff Olive Garden and chili dogs. That sounds That'd be fun. A good episode. We could do Sonic. We could do. There's a few movies on Amazon Prime. We. I think it could be fun. I think we could always do like a back and forth too. Um, oh! I dropped the spatula, I'm sorry. Trying to get all that orange, dweezy Oh, goodness. off the side? Yeah. 
Yeah. So we're just looking for, see this? This is still very liquidy over here. We want it to caramelize. It's going to be a little thicker. Should we take We're looking for like a syrup. No, this is good. No, this is good. Because we don't want it to good. burn. So sugar can burn really quickly. And what happens right. is we lose all that like light sweetness into a deep right. like. At some point, am I going to have to do the magnum opus of flips and get all four of these to land? No. You'll just, you know, shuffle them off. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, so only one side needs to be caramelized. Okay. So okay. it's totally fine. We don't need to flip it. That's great. Um, God, what other movies are on Amazon Prime? There are some good ones. There are. They're just really hidden. They hide the good ones in there because they want you to watch, yeah, like, the... the new ones. One time we accidentally watched a porno together, me and Chat, on Amazon it was like, what was it called? It was called like um, Awkward what? Sexual Encounter. And I thought it was like, I thought it was gonna be like super bad. Or and like you're allowed like to that. watch that on Amazon Prime? Yeah, and it was definitely a porno. And the Twitch, whole, the, get your shit together. The whole time we were watching it, I was like, Chad, it's not a porno, it's not a porno. And I was like, this is a porno. I was like, it, it's got a good story, this isn't a porno. Yeah, I'm like, this the, is the a guy porno. just walks in and is like, you yeah. look stressed. <laughs> He's like, I was like, that's just his stepsister, guys. The it's saxophone <laughs> comes in. It's like, wah na wah na wah 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 Knives Out is on Amazon. Oh. We can just do like martinis. Oh. And... Also, Knives Chow is in What's Scott that? Pilgrim. She's a character. Okay. We could do Knives Chow Main. That could be cool. These are good ideas. We're getting there. We'll see. Garlic bread? Garlic bread's in what? Bread. For f Knives Out has bread? Garlic bread. They're all the same. Knives bread. Out has bread. Oh, okay. Today we're making bread. We're going to make one bread. <laughs> one bread, please. Scar Scott Pilgrim, apparently. Scott loves garlic bread. Oh. That's cool. Yeah. What would be like the, the, the magnum opus of garlic bread? Just a lot of butter. It's garlic. like, so you make an artisan loaf. Oh, yeah. You cut a grid into it and then you shove cheese and garlic oh! and then you bake it. And then, okay, yeah. wait a That's minute. So we that actually, we could move. do that. We could do that. We could do two things because if we're watching a whole movie, we have extra time. Yeah, we'll have extra time for sure. All right, this looks done. This is thickened up. And so you'll just kind of slide each one into the plate. Do I do them as a whole? No. You know what? I'm going to let you. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to fuck the process right here. Oh, you can smell the caramel too. This is. Oh. Oh wait, hang on. Let me get the hand cam. Yeah, look at that, guys. Let me let me get nice let me get brazy with the hand cam. Okay, so we're just gonna stack these in a beautiful way. Oh my God in heaven! Stack them in a beautiful way. Just the two of us making <laughs> crepes for Suzanne. <laughs> I'm just gonna get all this extra. This is honestly just sugar at this point. Like this is. Which is awesome because it's a caramel. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna turn this bad boy off. Suze. I kinda wanna slide this. Okay, if the crepes are a little misshapen, that's my fault. No, they're great. They, they, there's no don't, right there's no right don't shape. Don't lie to me. No, there's no right shape. The, the chat is smart enough to know when you're saving my ego. I'm not. There's yes, no right shape. You are. They're beautiful. Just the okay. two of them. Then just because I'm a I have OCD. You're gonna clean the, the plate. Real. Yeah. yeah. So this is called the plating process. Now this is what real <laughs> deal people get into. They want it to look, they want it to look as good as it tastes. Which I don't have the most beautiful plates. These are from Target. Um, ah, Target. One's correct, but yeah. I couldn't decide on plates. I'm so picky about plates that I had to tell myself, okay, I'll buy these from Target and I'll choose ones later. And I just haven't gone. Never around did it. Choosing ones later. Um, just. Okay. Now, so how this is usually served in restaurants sure. is they will flambe it at your table, which is very, very popular in the South. So if you ever go to New Orleans, they'll have like Bananas Foster or they're gonna have like Baked Alaska, something that they flambe right uh, at your table because it seems very impressive. When all it is, you're lighting the alcohol on fire. So. And they chose the Grand Marnier. Chat, why did you do that? I told them not to choose that one. Really? Yeah, the reason I don't like doing Grand Marnier is because we already did fresh orange, so I don't want artificial orange. 
I'm oh, overruling. We, we, we going straight. Hennessy, baby. Yeah. All right. So we're going to Hey, did, Chad, button. did you enjoy that interactive portion of the stream? Because we overruled. Okay, we're lowering the lights here. Okay. Because I want chat to see fire. You're doing the fire, sir. So I'm doing the fire? Yeah. Oh, shit. So what you're going to do here, there's tons of ways to flambe. Usually on a stove top, what you will do is you'd put your alcohol in here, slowly warm it up, it'll bubble like crazy. You tip it, light it on fire, and then you pour it over, okay? We're not okay. gonna do that. Another beautiful way to do it is with a wine glass or like a gravy trough. I'm gonna do it with this. We're on a gravy okay, train with biscuit wheels, baby. Right under here. You need just a heat-proof vessel. This isn't the Woo that honey bee, that honey bee hitting. So we only need like a half a cup of the Hennessy. Um, well, you can do as much as you want. Yeah. You can absolutely do as much as you want. Okay. Um, this is a third cup, so maybe we'll do. All right. Let's get the Henny rolling. Well, great format, both of you. I'll do like two okay, That's a lot of Henny. So now I just. Well, no. <laughs> so, so lower, Will. Take it up. Slower. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to light this. So I'm not going to light it yet. Okay. And you're going to slowly come to it, and then you're just going to kind of hold your flame at the edge. As soon as it's on fire, yeah. this can get really hot pretty quickly. So you can swizzle your fire. Just keep it kind of far away from Why you. am I swizzling the fire? So then it lights at all edges. Because it will probably just The fact that you with your dragon mitt said this can get kind of hot really scares okay, the shit Okay, don't swizzle your fire. I saw you literally just drop your hand in a hot plate. Okay. Don't swizzle your fire. You're just... I, you're right. You shouldn't swizzle. I'll fire. swizzle it. No, don't swizzle. I'll it. swizzle. So just light it. It might go really fast. Okay. Um, but what then, do you mean go really fast? So sometimes it'll go, uh, depending on how much is in the air. Okay. So we're just going to go like this. We're getting the alcohol out of the air. Um, we're going to light it, and then you just pour it over okay. the top. That's all you have to do. So do I put the light? Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you on one not full of alcohol. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good, yeah. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Angles are very important here because yep. if you just go like this, your thumb's gone. So what? <laughs> well, not gone, gone, but it's just you. Okay. It's okay. Let me tell you something. It will not burn you because it, it is more focused on burning out the alcohol. Got okay. It. So worst case, the fire comes up here. You have enough Skips. time to move it. Whatever it. you do, don't drop it. Okay. That's what you don't want to do. But we're tilted like this. And then I just go here. Tappy, 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 tappy. It's on fire now, and then okay. I. Drop, you can drop that. And you then I that just like pour and then you it. Just pour. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to get the swizzle cam for swizzling? Okay. Wait, wait. Now I bring it right wait, to wait, 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 wait. Let me get Oh, God. Okay. okay. Prediction, does Will burn down the kitchen? Is it, is it mad at us? Okay. The issue is sometimes it's on fire and our light can't tell, but I don't believe this is on fire. Sometimes the flames are invisible? Yeah, because the lighting in the room. Dude, why? I might have to check the alcohol percentage. Wait, I think that's on fire. Okay. Let's get, hang on, bring the cam. Let's go in this dark room. <laughs> Oh, why did my did my phone go dark? Did you guys even see that? Okay, Wait, one second. Yeah, so let me check the alcohol percentage. I should have done that first. Oh, it's only forty percent. Well, this isn't fit for burning. No, wait, this is only forty percent too. What happened here? I need eighty. <laughs> Give me a second. Don't worry, I have alcohol. That's cool. Whoa. Just the two of us. 
Chat, this one's for you. Poggers, poggers, have a little Shotsky, only if you're of age. That's delicious. Are you out of booze? I don't have whiskey. I, would, I was gonna resort to whiskey. Is this not, okay, we have solutions. Let's just try burning it. We, we got have it. solutions. Worst case, you warm it up on this first, it'll evaporate some of the liquid and then we light yeah. it on fire. Let's try boozing it. Okay. Booze go in. Editor, just cut the part out where we couldn't work it. <laughs> okay. And now booze go crazy. Okay. All right. Here we go. And, oh, do you want to grab oh, that? Oh, yes, yes, and, yes. And, oh, I should move my hands a little bit. And flambe. Flam, we're flaming. I see it flaming a little bit. Yeah. Oh, she's flaming. It stopped flaming. Yeah, we need to use a, we gotta do it this way. Okay. You burning it? No, it's not. We right. gotta do it old school, apparently. Wait, why is it not burning? It's not high enough proof. With both of them? Yeah. What proof does that have to be? 80. Like 80. Dude, that's, so that's why I got both, because I was nervous. You got, have, you got any Everclear? What did I use? I'm going to look up what I used. I don't know. Because I definitely used, I thought I used. I think you used my whiskey. I thought I, I used Grand Marnier, because that's oh, what I you? normally use. What's the proof? All right, let's try Grand Marnier. We'll try all three. Yeah, we'll try all three. Okay, we'll wait on this for this. I, I also think that these lighters aren't very hot. Yeah, that's another part of it. So, all right. Let's so we might have to just, you know what? Well, let's just switch over there because then it'll, it'll definitely work over there. I know for a fact it'll work over there. All right. Should I just try the Grand Marnier quickly? Sure. Okay. Take three. Take three. <laughs> Third time's charm. Grand. Editor, cut all the confusion out. This is actually the one chat voted for. That's enough juice, right? Yeah. Okay. This is actually the one chat voted for. Chat, you were right the whole time. And flambe. It's on fire. It's on fire right now. Yeah, but it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Swizzle. Oh, it's on fire. Okay, there you go. And then put it on. Pour it over. Oh, yeah, she's flaming. Oh, there you go. Oh! Oh! There we go. Oh, my God. Fire go crazy. There we go. Yay. Oh, this is still on fire, too. Well, don't, don't blow it out. It'll burn it. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Oh, we're flaming. Chat, do you see the flom? Chat, what's your level of flom? Wait, can, can we grab the plate and take it in the dark room? Uh, I should, yeah, this is very bright here. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh, so this is dangerous. Terrifying. I'm really scared. It's fine though. Okay. Oh my god. Chat, do you see the flom? Oh my god. Love, can you tell us if we're flomming on camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you're flomming. What's our level of flom? Okay. And it looks as though it's finished flaming. It is. Uh, there's a few little bits, but it's a little smolder. Little smolder. Oh yeah, it's it's the definitely uh, the Grand Marnier. Yeah. She's still flaming. It's okay. No, oh, there's a lot of flom. Yeah, you put a bunch of alcohol in my <laughs> You doused it that <laughs> Okay, listen, I... We were struggling, okay? Yeah. We wanted a little boozy brush. It's interesting. So this one is more... Is it a higher proof? It's only... Oh, it's 80. Yeah, it's 40% alcohol. Oh, it is 80 proof? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I used Grand Marnier. Because that's what we had growing up. This is also 80 proof. I don't like you... Oh. 40%, you just double it for the proof. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Whatever, I give up. We blacked out. Regardless, it worked. Uh, I usually don't like using Grand Marnier because it adds the artificial orange flavor to it instead of just whatever. It's fine. It's going to be very orangey. It's great. It's going to be very orangey. It's super yummy. And then you top it with some vanilla ice cream. Yes. And then we eat it. 
Do, do, do. It's the first episode, Chad. Everybody chill out. <laughs> Remember, the new show. These things happen. Sometimes your flom isn't flom enough. How did you get the ice cream so soft and nice? Because it was delivered. By the oh. Let's say, what the hell? If you want to be real crazy. Oh, you be. Oh, you're getting real crazy. Just gonna get a little here, and then a. Oh. Orange slices. And a little. Oh, I want them to. Twist it. Oh, a little garnish. Then we come over here. We've got our mint leaf. Wow. She's beautiful. Wow. She's beautiful. It smells so good. You get the mint, the orange, the booze, the All butter. Right. Are you ready to taste it? Oh, yeah. All okay. right. We can probably get rid of the uh, hand, cam? hand cam. Bye, hand cam. Bye. And I'll turn on the light now that we're no longer falling. <laughs> Sorry for the struggle there, chat. I turn on too it's many a new lights? show. These things happen. No, that's great. All right, Ooh. and now oh, this looks. This <laughs> actually came out looking. It's gorgeous. Gor Can we take a photo? Yeah, we should take a photo. It looks gorgeous. Where'd my phone just go? I, I lost my phone. Too. <laughs> yeah, I my phone. Oh no! Ready? This is how you. This is how you take good food photos. You need A. That. And then you're gonna go here and here. And we're gonna point this. No, this way's the best, yeah. No, we're gonna go like this. She's beautiful. Oh my, what, what angle do I take this from? That looks great. Where's I literally Ooh. my phone was literally just oh it's right. Duh. Duh. Okay. We're just using it as the hand cam. Throw a filter on this bad boy. He's gonna look amazing. Okay. Alright, we're ready to eat it. So a little ice cream. A little get, crepe. Get some crepe. Get some booze. Get some, yeah. Wow. It's really good. It's, it's really, really good. good. <laughs> yeah. You could, like I said, you can have people over for dinner. You can make this. You can. Oh my God. You could do this for brunch. And just do whipped cream instead of ice cream. It's got really interesting mouthfeel because it's caramelized, mm -hmm. so it's like a little chewier than you would think. Like it's like, But it's like very satisfying to your mouth. Yeah, because it has like, almost like a candy coating a little bit. Like that, it's like a little crunchy, but not crunchy that you're breaking your teeth on it, like. I see what you mean by the Grand Marnier, mm -hmm. adding like almost as not pure an orange to it. That's fine. It was the only one that would flom. It's great, you can use Grand Marnier. We, you probably only need half a cup tops. I boozed it a little. We hard. boozed it a little, but that's okay. I boozed it to make it more visual. <laughs> oh my god, it's very good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, Talladega Nights crepe Suzette. <laughs> wow! Thank you for being here, everybody. That is so boozy, too. It is really boozy. The way that we made it, you could probably get hammered. <laughs> I think it's... I, hey, listen, I love a lot of booze, so I, I'm not, I don't have a problem with this. <laughs> I'm like, this will start my day off perfectly. So notice how I haven't been mad at the lag this whole time, Chet? This is what... This is what's gonna... This is my copium. Cutie, this was so much fun. Hey! I had so much fun with you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for inspiring us to do this new Ooh, you recycled have to take a bite format from right in the middle actually oh is that bad it's so good
Because it doesn't have too much booze. That's what it should taste like. It's right in this middle part. Let me get some. Oh, oh shit. Oh, see, yeah, that caramelized orange. Ooh! It's so good. It's so good. I couldn't be prouder. Like I said, I will um, I will post the recipe oh. in the Discord if you do oh want to make God. this. It's You're right. so it's, good. It's protected from how much booze I poured on it. Yeah. Well, it was mutual. Don't worry. I didn't stop you. Um, thing is, is, if you don't drink alcohol or if you are too young to be drinking alcohol or playing with alcohol, it doesn't need it. You don't have to do the alcohol. Um, what alcohol does in this situation is it, it brings a bitterness to the very sweet palate that it has. It's not yeah. necessary though, because it is really, really sweet. But honestly, if you're a teenager and you're cooking this, fuck it. You can eat sweet things and you don't care. You're just like, this yeah. is awesome. So there's a way to make it underage friendly, but is there an alternative? You just don't need it. Yeah. That's all. You don't need it. You don't need the flom. But the, the reason that, that they flom, I assume, is because when you put it in the pan to caramelize, the bottom gets more cooked than the top. So the flom adds a sear to the top too. Yeah, it also, see all this ooey gooey goodness? When you do it in the pan, all that goodness goes into your alcohol. Yeah. But that's fine, because we didn't even do it that way, so. So, this was episode one of Dinner in a Movie. This format is gonna get tweaked a little bit, but obviously you guys enjoyed it, which is so satisfying to the two of us to try something new and have you enjoy it. So if you did enjoy it, please, be outspoken about it, go on Twitter, um, mention that you enjoyed it, give us suggestions, uh, because for a lot of streamers, I'm gonna be honest, it, it becomes very tempting to do the same shit over and over and over again, and new formats are often not rewarded because people are like, hey, do the React thing! So for both of us, uh, it's a little nerve-wracking to get out there and try something new, and I, I know for myself I am so pleasantly um, encouraged by everyone showing up and having a good time. So remember to tweet, remember to subscribe, like, follow everything Cutie Cinderella, and we will see you next week. Next week, we could do Sunday again. Do do next Sunday, again? Sunday. Next Sunday, but it's gonna be on Will's stream. Right. So you have to follow Will or you're going to miss out. True. It's going to be on Will's stream. Um, we don't know what movie we're doing, so like he said, tweet at us, tell us what movie to do. Yep. It can be on Amazon Prime. We'll do a mix because obviously some of our favorite movies, like I want to make cannolis from Godfather, Ooh. is not on Amazon Prime. So we'll do a mix of Leave Amazon Prime movies. Leave the gun, movies. bring the cannolis. Yep. Yeah, exactly. But I think it'd be fun to try an Amazon Prime movie next week. So please, please, please tweet at us. Let us know what you want to see because we are we are open ears at this point. So shout out Will Neff. Make sure you follow him because you don't want to miss next week. Yep. Or anything he does. So, all right. All right, that's chat. it. Are we raiding anyone, or are we just pull um, the plug? We just pull the plug here. <laughs> We're pulling the plug. See you next Sunday, everybody. Bye, guys. For episode two of Dinner and a Movie. Yay! Yay! If you're a content creator of any kind, you need to start.